Howdy folks, it's Andrew Mike in the Man Cave of Bandis. It's after midnight and we're back on Britannia. We are starting 13. That represents 935 to 985 AD. Uh, this happens to be only a 50 year game turn. I believe the last few turns are condensed. They start getting less and less turns. Uh, the very last turn of the game, for example, is only 15 turns long. So, uh, we're, we're getting to the end. <laughs> There's four turns left. Um, so the very first thing we do, of course, is determine king. Uh, and as we mentioned before, let's rotate this down so we can see the relevant portion of the board there. That's the 20 areas that make up England. So the Saxons have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They do get to count Mercia, even though there's only a lone leader there. Since it is a uncontested leader, he does control that area for purposes of kingship, Retvalda, population growth, victory point control, whatever. Uh, so they have eight, the nearest closest uh, opposing player is the Danes with four. And so the rule is you have to have at least four yourself and at least be twice or more of the nearest opponent. So they do get to be king. Uh, Alfred gets his four points. So mark the Saxons there for th turn 13. And they get a free army. Now, what's cool about this is they get to place it right now, immediately, and they're going to put it, yes, in North Marcia. Alfred's call for troops, I need troops, is heard. And the folks of the land respond, it's good to be king. Okay, so he feels a little bit safer. He will be staying around on the board until the Saxon turn. Uh, so I already put out on the board the new dudes for turn 13. We have... Five Dubliners. There was one left over from last turn. Let's remember they showed up with two guys and they raided down here at Avalon. They knocked the Irish out of there. Uh, this is the Dubliners' major invasion turn. Turn 13. So they got their six total dudes. <laughs> See what they can do with those. Uh, the Dubliners, yeah, all right. And remember, they move right before the Danes, after the Norsemen, in the turn order. The Danes got two more guys as a reinforcement there. Uh, yes, in the North Sea. And we have a ruler, Edgar, slated to show up for the Saxons. So once the Saxon turn comes around, Alfred will remove. Oop. Edgar will appear. So that is all the folks that are showing up. Danes, Norsemen, and Dubliners have boats. So that means the Danes here can pop in and out uh, using their, their boats. Um, and the Norsemen, remember the Norsemen landed here in Cheshire. Uh, with the thought that, all right, uh, Brigantes, if you're, you get out of Cumbria, the Norse can move in, they can get more points than the Brigantes can. That's a way for the red team, the various red nations, to sort of cooperate to maximize the score for the red player. All right. Um, yeah. We are ready to dig in with the Welsh. Now, this is turn 13. This is a point-scoring turn for everybody, uh, so that we'll be spending some time looking at the points. So we will probably split this up into mm, three videos. <laughs> that last one was a really long guy. So we're going to need to split these up. So, yeah, we'll probably do three, three videos this turn. So the Welsh, turn 13. Same as turn 10. Two for Powys, one for each other in Wales, half for each area outside of Wales. Now, they're not real strong right now. They probably don't want to fight outside of Wales. It just doesn't seem worth it to them. The question is, do they want to try to come across and pound 
Devon or Cornwall? Hmm, probably not. They might be better off trying to protect things. You know, got doublers or Dubliners are running around. Um, so let's do their growth. One, two, three and a half. They had saved up two. So they have five and a half. They're short of growing two. So they go up to two and a half. Right? One, two, three and a half. So they get one half extra. They go up from two to two and a half. They get their army. Army, army, army. Do, do, do. Now, yep, it'll probably be another boring turn for them. They got two each in these ones here. I do believe uh, Dubliners and or Norsemen can get points for those uh, palaces. Or so they'll probably defend the palace like that. Uh, and then just, I know, <laughs> Clyde, Cluid, Cluid, Clyde is worth points to, I remember again, if it was the, the Dubliners and Norsemen, one or the other. But they can't afford to put more than that. That's that's it, folks. There it is. Another Welsh turn. Just trying to hold on. Maintain what they got. Trying to score some good points. Um, and if they have a chance later to strike, they might try to hurt the Saxons or something. But I don't think now is the time. Unless it is. <laughs> maybe maybe say, hey, if... if uh, no, no, no. That just seems too... The Danes would love the help. The Danes would absolutely love the help. But... It's just too risky for the Welsh, I say. All right. Welsh are done. Brigantes. Now, Brigantes. They are growing again. They got three, four, and a half. They have... Two saved up. So six and a half. Two armies grown, having a half left over. Uh, they are almost at their max. So <laughs> they they are definitely willing to do some fighting, I say. I say, I say. <sighs> the question is, in what way? So if they're if they're bugging out of Cumbria. <laughs> Do they go and beat on the Pennines and try to, like, eliminate the Angles? Uh, now, if we remember right now, the blue player is the farthest behind. Green just came into second place, just surpassed purple. So it makes more sense to pick on green. Um... But Hurt in Purple is not a bad ploy. Also, uh, there's 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 these Dubliners and the Norwegians are showing up. There's more a few more Dubliners arriving next turn. Uh, a few more, one or two. Let's see, turn fourteen, two Dubliners. Now there's actually more Danes coming on turn fourteen. It's the old. Uh, Schwen and Knut thing. We've got more Danes arriving later. Uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. They want to hold Glide for certain. I think they like, they, they, they should be able to do their bit and at least pound on the the Danes some um, that's just just the fair thing to do. So we'd looked at this a little earlier. Five points for Strath Clyde and only one for each other area. So uh da, 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 da. now that's limited because up here in the top they can only score points for flying areas, all right? So, uh, Bernicia is on the list. Cheshire, York, March, North of Zealand, Lindsay. So they can't score anything south of here. They can't go way down here. 
I can't go into Wales to score points. Golly Cumbria, Dunedin, Strace, Clyde, Dal Riata. So the only thing up in Scotland, obviously Strace, Clyde, but Dal Riata and Dunedin. So they could potentially get the points here. They're already in Dunedin. Down through here. All right. That's their zone. Yeah, I think they want to leave at least four in there. That's going to be their overstack, though. So that means going against something like that's not a good idea. All right. So if they bug out of here to go to Galloway and come down here, let's see if they leave... Uh, how many total armies are going to have? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There's one there, fourteen. Is that right? Is there max fourteen? Brigantes, fourteen, yes. So we have everything accounted for. So if they don't, they're going to lose a dude. Let's see, so... These come from there. This guy, so assume he's going to grow here. They can actually overrun. They can actually throw guys at York. Ooh, there's a thought. Do the they could they could help try to weaken them. even if they don't take York. They could try to weaken York. The Norsemen. The Norsemen can walk into Cumbria. Nope, York's, New York's not even on the list for the Norsemen. <laughs> nope. Nope, 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 So, anyway, it was a thought. Um, if they don't lose something, four, five, six, thirteen. That's, <laughs> yeah, they, they have to, that's the problem giving up Cumbria. Um, they have to attack somewhere else. They either try to get a place or lose armies doing it. Um, I don't really think they're going to hold Dunedin. Uh, they don't want the Angles to retreat into... Okay, so rewind a little bit. If one of these guys went to here, and backed out, that means they wouldn't be able to retreat there. Attacker came from there. All right. Uh, yeah, they're only, they're only going to be able to attack with two because that's the normal limit. <laughs> Three and a clear two. They already have this guy. They want to maintain Strath Clyde. Absolutely. Um, the Dubliners could be butts and try to just land with all six. But that could be very risky because even though they're heading six to four, you know, the, the dice, the way they are, we've seen that, right, folks? Uh, so let's get on with it. Brigantes must attack, 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 attack. All right. Um, yeah, I think. Hmm, they're not going to lose. One, two, three, four, five, six. If they take them all. And they lose one, they won't lose anything about overpopulation. If they take a while and lose nothing, they're going to lose. They're going to lose one no matter what if they do this. They may not take this at all. They lose two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, they could lose still an extra one. Mmm. Gush, gush, gush. Do they have to go throw something somewhere else to try to lose it? That just seems so bizarre. Um, I 
They could leave one in Cumbria, make the Norsemen come in. The Norsemen would fight for it and the Brigantes would retreat no matter what. So as long as the Norsemen went, went in with at least two, even if the Brigantes got lucky and got a hit the first turn, the Norsemen have at least one live and the Brigantes would retreat to let the Norsemen take it. Um, this would allow the Brigantes to have the population... Yeah. All right, that's what we're going to do. We're, we're going to do this. All right. So the... Dee, 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 dee. I don't know if it'll do that. The Bigantes at almost max population and all that. It's kind of... I think we'll zoom in. Let's see here so we can see the areas we're talking about a little better. Brigantes. I'm going to move the Dubliners <laughs> into this part of the Irish Sea so I can move this much closer. There you go. All right, so we are going to do the attack on the Danes and Bernicia first. Three attack dice, one... Defense dice, it's normal five or sixes. A hit. The Danes lose ones. The Bernicia don't lose the Bernicias. The Brigantes in Bernicia don't lose anything. All right, now this is where the Brigantes are probably going to lose something. So they do have the one, two, three, four, five, six, six right now. If they lose one here, they can retreat, and they have six guys. Uh, they'll lose the one that came from here so that the other one can retreat to here. Yeah. And uh, if they get lucky and get a hit, they'll keep fighting. But So they need sixes on the black dice, five or six on the red for defense. Oh, they got a hit. The angles miss. <laughs> The Angles have nowhere to retreat. The Brigantes will definitely stay and keep fighting. It's like, hey, they can wipe out the Angles. They can take the pennons. That's worth an extra point to them if they do. Uh, that means they're just big and glorious. So, needing sixes on the black dice. Five or six on the red. They got their hit. Wow. Angles. Brigantes says, hey, what's this talk? Brigantes submitting to the angles. Baloney! We're going to destroy the angles. And they didn't actually have a chance to fight too much throughout the game, but they got to wipe them out. All right. So the Brigantes are really happy with that, I would say. <laughs> ah, la, la, la. So, Picts. Picts are back up to three territories, half point each. They have, whoop, let me zoom out. Or at least normal zoom. As we can see over here. Oh. Picks are at two and a half. Adding one and a half is three, four. They grow an army for three and have one point left over. They appreciate that. Ah, oh, they're growing again, finally, after all these years. <clears throat> all right. Where is the pick? Sheet. Turn 13. Simple, straightforward. One for each area held. Uh, never any points for anything south of Galloway, Lothian, or Bermisia. So, that ain't going down there. <laughs> they could blue, because, hey, I'm going to be mean. I'm going to go jump on Dunedin. Or they could Try to pound on the Norsemen here. Weaken the Norsemen. Solidify the North more. <laughs> Red is big. Thing is, with, with, with this, this brigantic growth here, they're going to be able to grow back. <laughs> uh, well, they're going to give up Cumbria to 
the Norsemen. One, two, three. They're going to be able to grow at least one. Uh, let's see, what did they have saved up? They used it. They have a half. So actually, it makes a difference if the picks actually take Dunedin. That would actually prevent them, if they gave it Cumbria, from growing this back if they lost it. Um, so at the point, it's easier for the picks to take that. The Scots, the Scots, the Scots are really worried about surviving. See, the Scots are going to, they're, they're at two and a half. They're going to grow one. Scots, turn 13, as we turn 7. Dalriata, Dunedin, and Skye. So that's the obviously place for the Scots to want to go. So if the picks go there, the Scots would want to fight them for it. They would. Uh, <laughs> uh, la, 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 la. Maybe the picks don't care. Maybe they say, well, yeah, come on. Let's do it. Let's rumble. The Norsemen get their biggest points for, like, the Hebrides and the Orkneys, but I don't know if they're going to try to hit those. Those look big, so they're probably going to come after Sky. So if they go after Moray, <coughs> tighten this up. But it's it's harder to do. Your odds aren't as good. Yeah, what the heck? Let's let's go here. <laughs> they actually want to try to do something. So picks get the hit on five or six. Five or six hitting back. Regular old fight. Miss miss miss. The Regantes will retreat. <laughs> I think they're gonna say I'm gonna retreat into. You know, they get their one over stack. They can go there. They can have five there. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. All right, so the picks did expand. Caledonians. Caledonians have two points. They get a half each. That's one more point. That's three. That means they can grow. <sighs> well, the Caledonians sure as heck don't want to <laughs> attack Caithness, even though that's uh, it's not it's not worth as many points as it used to be. Remember, it used to be worth two to them, and it went down. It's only worth one. Uh, Caledonians, turn 13, Hebrides and Orkneys, so Caithness, Dalriada, Moray, and Skyrith 1. So, they're, they're sitting on four points. They can't just grow their army instead, though. They have to at least send one out to attack and maybe win or die. Sending out one to attack Sky is pretty wimpy. They take it, they've pushed them back. But so if if they come out here with one plus their growth, so they grow and they come out and attack with two, the Norsemen have boats, so they could pop out. <laughs> they could even go all three guys and say, We're gonna try to to hit them and take that instead. Because that is worth more points to them for the turn 13 capture points. It's also worth more points. For the turn 12 through 6, capture the time. It's worth one and a half points. Hebrides or Orkneys, it's worth three points. Cumberdies, Hebrides, or Orkneys, for the occupation points. So, what do you think, guys? <laughs> they just slough off the one. See if they get lucky, roll a six. Yeah, I think they want to hold on to those Hebrides and Orkneys. Those are, those are, uh, yeah... Make make the Norsemen risk big time risk if they want to go after those points. If they're greedy and they want those points, so they're gonna come and attack Sky. 
<laughs> I need a, a six on the black die. Bump, bump. Four. Miss, miss. I think the picks want to say, you know, screw you. I'm not, I'm not going. I'm not leaving. You got to kill me. They got the advantage two to one. They're not going to retreat. So it's still six on the black, five or six on the red. Miss, miss. Oh, do, 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 do. they missed. If there was other round, it would have been a double kill. But the picks managed to defeat the Caledonians. So the Caledonians did not get a cheap shot to expand. But they still have four defending for potentially really good points. So that is through that. We're at 25, 26 minutes. We're going to call it here, folks, for this turn. Turn 13A, the first part of it. We'll pick up tomorrow with continued action. We'll have the Irish and Scots, Norselands, Norsemen and Dubliners, at least those four. That would leave us with the Danes, Utes, Saxons, Angles. <laughs> four and four. Now, mm -mm -mm. Irish, Scots, Norsemen, Dubliners. Dubliners do have a major major. So that might be enough. We'll, we'll do four or five next, next, next video. All right. So that's it. All right, folks. Meandering Mike, Man Cave of Madness, Britannia. Turn 13. So all you good folks out there, take care and ciao.